everyone welcome to my vlog and in this video we are going to talk about how to sketch the graph of a polynomial function when you say sketch it's just familiarizing the behavior or determining the behavior of the graph of a certain polynomial function and to help us sketch we have here an activity to do so are you ready let's get started okay we have here as you can see we have here four graphs no and a table below so what are we going to do is to fill out this table no with the degree the leading coefficient behavior of the graph it's either falling or rising when we say left hand this one here and when this one is the right hand and then the sketch how does it go if it is like that or like that or like that like that okay so that's sketch and the number of turning points is simply how many turns does it have one two like that okay how many times does your graph goes up then suddenly down then goes up turn down goes up turn down that's the turning point okay so to start let's look at graph number one no and given the polynomial function 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 7x plus 12 and in factored form that is quantity of 2x plus 3 times quantity of x minus 1 times quantity of x minus 4. So let's fill out the table for graph number 1. So what is our degree? It means the highest exponent. So that is 3. Okay. So 3. What is 3? Is it odd or even? That is odd. Then, what is its leading coefficient? The leading coefficient is 2. Is it positive or negative? So that is positive. Then, the behavior of the graph. Is it falling or rising? The left hand, this one. It is falling. Let's have arrow down. And then the right hand is rising. And its sketch is from down to up. So that is its catch. How many turning points? One and two. So there are two turning points. Now let's go to number two. Okay, graph number two with a given polynomial function and in factored form this one so what is our degree that is five and five is an odd number when we say odd it does not have a partner or a pair it's not divisible by two so it's always have a remainder okay if we divide it by two so what is its leading coefficient its leading coefficient since you cannot see a number beside variable x it means one but you can see that there is a sign of negative so that means negative one so that's negative its leading coefficient is negative now let's see the behavior of the graph the left hand is mm, upward how about the right hand that's falling okay how many turning points wait so sketching from up then how many turning points one two three four so one two three four one two three four okay there are four turning points now let's go to graph number three our graph number three has the function this one x to the power of four minus seven x plus six x in factory form we have x times the quantity of x plus three times the quantity of x minus one times the quantity of x minus two okay so let's look at the degree the highest exponent and that is four how do you call four is it add or even it is even okay four is even then is it positive the leading coefficient or negative as you can see the leading coefficient here is one and there's no negative sign so it means positive and then the behavior of the graph look at it the left hand is 
rising. And the right hand is still rising. Amazing. So our how many turning points are there? One, two, three. So there are three turning points. One, two, three. Okay? Number of turning points is three. Now let's go to the fourth one. So the fourth one is having polynomial function, this one, and in factored form, this one. So what's our degree? Our degree is four. Okay, that's four. And when we say four, that is even. And how about its leading coefficient? That is, the leading coefficient here is negative one. So it means that is negative. And the behavior of the graph, the left hand is falling. And the right hand is also falling. And how many turning points? One, two, three. So there are three. So since it's falling, let's start there. Okay, down and three. Okay, so there are three turning points. Now, after filling out the table, let us analyze them. Okay, so as you can see in graph, one and two we have odd degrees right three and five look at it three and five okay and what do you think is the behavior so based on our table our degree is odd the behavior of the graph is having an opposite direction the left hand is going down the right hand is going up while in graph two the left hand is going up while the right hand is going down, okay? While in 3 and 4, both are even. But the behavior of the graph is the same, right? Left hand and right hand have the same behavior. For number 3, they are both upwards. And for number 4, they are both downwards but now the question is which determines the direction of the hand of the graph when can we say that it's going to fall when can we say that it's going to rise okay so with that we would look at the leading coefficient no so for an odd degree if the leading coefficient is positive, then it will start from down and will end going up. See? From down and it ends going up. So that's for positive leading coefficient. No? So if you try to recall, if it's positive, it's going up. And if it is negative, it's going down. Because negative is something bad, so that's going down, a down feeling, right? So the negative, it starts from the up and ends with the down. So start from the up and ends with the down. So now let's go to even degree. So if it's even, both of the hands of the graph points the same direction. It's upward or downward. So which tells that it goes upward and which tells that it goes downward? Again, it will be the leading coefficient okay so if it is positive means positive that's good something good so that's going up our energy is going up if it's if there's something good right and if it if it is negative that's something bad so our energy goes down our emotion goes down so that's how you remember them okay so that's going down now what is the factor which tells us the number of turning points when are we going to stop no how many like this are we going to make it's actually the degree so the degree is also responsible 
for the turning points. As you can see, if the degree is 3, the turning points is 2. Here, the degree is 5, the turning points is 4. Here, the degree is 4, the turning point is 3. So, the turning point is actually 1 less than the degree. No? So, when we say 1 less than, so the degree is minus 1, then that's the number of turning points. So, for example, we have here 3. So, the turning point is 1, 2. We have here is 5. The turning point is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, if the, if the degree is 6, how many turning points? So, that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, there will be 5 turning points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that's it. Okay, so again, to summarize all, if the degree is odd, the direction is opposite. It goes, the left hand will go down and the right hand will go up or it goes up or goes down. If, if it is odd and the leading coefficient is positive, then it means from going down to going up. Our emotion, remember? So if it is a positive Thing, then our emotion will go up but if it is a negative thing then from down or uh, from up it goes down okay and if it is even the hands of the graph points the same direction and if it is positive even it means it goes up and if it is negative even then it goes down okay and our turning points is one less than the degree okay so now let's try this. Da -da -da -da. Let's sketch this. So what is our degree? Let's count how many x are there. Okay? So actually if the given is in factored form, we can do the multiplication like that. Distributive property. Okay? Yeah, this one and this one. Then after that is you, we, we do like this. But actually it has an exponent. So we will do the exponent first. But to make our um, sketching easy, since we are just sketching, then we are going to just count how many x will there be. So for this one, there is 1. Then since it has an exponent, when a factor has an exponent, it means that there is a mole multiplicity multiplicity okay because this one is multiple there are more than one x plus one because of the exponent no so one two that's multiplicity okay and then again let's count the x one then since it has an exponent of two so it means there is two here two x's so it becomes 1 plus 2, that's 3. And then another one here, that's 4. So our degree here is 4, which means that is even. So when it is even, the two hands point at the same direction. Okay? So which direction? Then we will find the leading coefficient. So to get the leading coefficient, we will just determine the leading coefficient here. So what's the leading coefficient here? That's 1. Here, it's 1. Here, it's Two. okay so all are positive positive and positive but there is a negative here so that means the positive times a negative then that is a negative leading coefficient so since it is negative so our emotion is going down so that's down both are down because that's even degree and a negative leading coefficient now since we have here Four, so our turning point is 3. So our sketch will then become 1, 2, 3. Okay. So that's it. This is our sketch. So do you have any question? I hope you learned something in this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new in this channel. And please hit the notification bell to get notified whenever a new video is coming. Thank you very much. Love lots. Bye-bye. Mwah.